Okay, so this is on a special request. Someone asked me how to analyze the bar copy and I should do a video about it. So this is about that, you know, how to analyze the bar copy. Copy. First is where do you get the bar copy? You know, you go to nseindia.com and uh, go to this market data section over here. Daily market reports, right? When you come to daily market reports, this is the page. And uh, this is a bar copy. You download the CSV file. And after you download, you convert it to an Excel file. Right now, I'll show you what to do with an Excel. Okay. So, this is the this is how the bar copy report will look. Right. You have your open, high, low, close, last, previous, total traded quantity. And then you have your total traded value and the total number of trades. XYZ. So what I've done is, see these four columns marked in yellow. This is something that I've introduced. What I've done is current minus previous close. Okay, HDFC Bank. You know, current close 910 minus previous close 879 30.55. Okay, I've applied a formula. For example, this formula is E2 minus G2. I'm sure you would be knowing how to apply the formulas in Excel. So, likewise, all the I've applied it for all, right? There are something like 2,000 shares. I've applied it all the way down. No, no point of me scrolling down all the way. I'm just going to give you a gist of this. The rest you can. Uh... Second, I've created a day pivot, okay, which is nothing but the high plus the low plus the close divided by three. Okay, so for example, the pivot, you know, this is high plus low plus close divided by 3. This is a formula, you know. I'm going to upload this Excel sheet. I'm also going to, going to upload the link. So that's okay. You, you'll be able to figure it out. So, right now, what, I'm, what are we looking at? Number one is, this is the first column, second column. Okay, let me finish the columns. The third, I have created a column, close minus pivot. This is a day pivot. This is a close. So 910 minus 905.85. I want to see whether the close was stronger than the pivot. Okay, that's the explanation for this. Now, current minus previous close is to see whether the stock has jumped or it has fallen. Day pivot is to see whether the close is higher than the day pivot. If the close is higher than the day pivot, that means the stock has got some strength. Okay, now for example, in HDFC Bank, you have something like, you know, you have the results are out. How the results are going to be interpreted by the market, we don't know. Right, but as of Friday, it closed bullish. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. Maybe first half it will go up, second half it will come down. We don't know. Right, but as of Friday, the interpretation is bullish. So what you should do is when you come across the close minus pivot being strong, you should work on VWAP. If the price crosses the 15 minute or the 5 minute, even the 5 minute VWAP, it's a buy. Okay. So HDFC Bank is strong. I can tell you ICIC is strong. Bajaj Finance, not so strong. 1 rupee 73 paise for a... 2003 and then you can also eye the open and the high you know you can compare the close with the high so high is 920 for HDFC close is 910 that means there was some selling in the close that's another interpretation now and for finally is the average price average price is nothing but the total value of the day divided by the total traded quantity you can see this is the two columns I've just divided them okay my main thing is, I want to interpret the close minus pivot and I want to interpret whether the close is higher than the high or the close is near the high. For HDFC Bank, I will say the close is near the, it's near, it's not near the high, it's quite, quite off, it's say 10 bucks off. So what happened in the end? Maybe the results will not be interpreted well. Right, likewise for ICICI Bank, you know, the close is 375, the high is 385, it's fallen 10 bucks. Okay, so, but the low is 349. So, anyway, it's showing as bullish over here. So, what I will do is I will even 
take all these uh, to interpret what it is. You know, for example, 0.73 doesn't mean anything. Minus 9 means that means for HDFC they were selling. Okay, so I will even compare with the high with the close and likewise also when I go down and I go into cash stocks, I'll also compare the number of trades, you know. For example, you have the number of trades over here, total trades. Now there are some stocks in which you will get very few trades as you go down. Okay, give me a bear with me, you know, like for example, uh, bear with me please. Like for example, this is 92 trades. Which stock is this? This Lincoln. Uh, net. I don't know the name of the stock. It's 21 bucks. Okay, it's uh, it's close at 21. Hardly any fluctuation. I would ignore it completely, and I would go. I would look at even the small trades. You know, like for example, one one trade or two trades over here and a significant movement in the price right now see this this stock has fallen 20 bucks with just two trades over here which stock is this okay this is src ram am i reading this right just two trades that's crazy that's column 1628 so you know you should also look at the stocks which have got a very limited trades and there's a lot of fluctuation. That means now, for example, in the street on transport, it is showing as bearish, you know. So I would I would look into this, and uh, perhaps I will trade it tomorrow, depending on how it works with the VAP. So even the low quantity trades, you must figure, you must start analyzing those, right? So. Your main thing is to basically see you don't want 10 20 trades in a day, you want some two or three trades in a three or four maximum quality trades in a day, right? For that, you analyze the pivot and all whatever I showed you, figure out the bull, bullish, or the bearish stocks, plot them, wait for the first 15 minutes. After you wait for the first 15 minutes, work on the five minute candle, look at the VAP. I've shown you many tricks VAP, RSI, Bollinger. You can use a combination of whatever you like, right? Predominantly, VAP will do the trick for you. So you know what is bullish, what is bearish, and you know when to act on it, right? Targets and stop losses, I've got other videos made. So I'm going to close this for now, and I'm going to upload everything on the on uh, my Excel sheet, and I'll share it with you, right? So thanks for viewing, and bye.